Well, hello there. It's loosely resin here. How are you doing? It's Easter Monday and I, I don't know when I'm going to put this video out, but we will see. So, I'm going to do some experiments. So, I was curious to see, <coughs> excuse me, what resin sticks to and what it doesn't for some future projects that I've got in mind. Um, so, I'm going to start off with some, uh, an absolutely genius thing. I mean, I'm, I wish that I'd known this before I bought these specific mixing cups and spent a fortune on blooming silicon. But look, this is just a normal yoghurt pot. And look. I mean, look at that just comes out so easily so that's the first thing I had to show you um, I have foil so I have used this on both sides so let's see if it sticks yep that is stuck first that is not coming off on that side and that is definitely not coming off that side so it sticks to foil so if you wanted, I guess, I was thinking about a project with this, so that's useful to know. Okay, so next thing. So this is like parchment paper, like baking, uh, what you bake with. So let's see if this sticks. Yeah, that is stuck fast. That is not coming off. Uh, so that's useful to know because I've got another project in mind as well. Uh, does it stick to other resin? Silly, silly premise, but I was curious. And you know what? What you can do, you know, sometimes when you get that overspill, is I've done this with others. it and usually look you can peel off the last thing you poured on there so I thought that was quite handy to know see it's coming off anyway little trick that I've found out okay Ikea bags let's see if this comes off look at that really easy really easy so that's useful so you're doing a pyramid and you don't want to fill it all the way up fill an ikea bag full of stuff look at that that comes off really really easily okay now i found a little sushi box and i thought oh i wonder if i could use it as so this is the lid and this is the bottom and I thought that's just perfect coaster size but obviously it's not going to work if it sticks to it so this is the test let's see if that comes off of course I put it in the bits that are difficult to get to which is just typical me so that really isn't coming off that easily so it does come off but I think that would be a bit of a pain so I'm probably not going to try and pour in that so look oh look I mean it does come off anyway I'm not gonna battle with that because I think that's a bit of a non-starter right so I have whiteboard just pulled it in the corner here because I thought if it doesn't come off I still want to be able to use it <laughs> it's a bit of a waste otherwise so let's see if that is coming off it is pretty not easily no I and mean, I think it's taking the surface off yeah so I wouldn't pour on whiteboard unless 
you know, you're going to use it. You could always use it as a, you know, as a picture or something. So, yeah, it is it is coming off, but not easily. Okay, next. Okay, so this is a just a jam jar lid. And so it's metal. And again... I think depending on when you do it, you can peel it off and you can heat it up, I would imagine, and peel it off, but not easily, not easily. So I bought it for a project, so that is one side and that is fairly stuck actually. And we'll try the other side, which is stuck to a stone. And, oh, I was really hoping that was going to come off. That is not coming off. It poured yesterday and uh, it was really old resin and it was just not mixing. Oh, there we go. Look, it does come off. Right, that's what I thought it was going to do. And um, for some reason it's really thinned out and it's really grainy because it hasn't really, it was not happy about coming out of the bottle. I think that does come off, but it's just because it's really thin. So I think both sides feel pretty much the same to me. So I would say I'm going to put my neck out and say that that does not stick. Okay, right, stone. And that is, yeah, that is pretty, pretty bonded on there. So, sticks to stone. And then we've just got three more. So, this is like the pedal bin kind of pedal bin things. Look at that. Look how easily that comes off. I'm really surprised at that because it's so thin. I thought that would tear it really easily. And then this is like a bin bag. And again, look how easily that comes off. So you don't have to buy blimmin' shower curtains or anything. You just use a bin bag. And providing you're kind of gentle with it, that would work absolutely fine. Now, obviously, there's a tiny bit on there. No. Yeah, so I'm really pleased that that all works. And then, <laughs> I, this is a little welly boot from my daughter that she's nearly grown out of. And uh, I thought rubber, you know, let's see if it sticks to rubber. So it's just dripped all the way round, you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is not really coming off that easily. So I would say uh, it is coming off, but it's not easy at all. So I would say that sticks to rubber. Brilliant. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I have, and I'm going to be writing up a really good long list. Oh, there's one more bit. One more bit. So this is kind of a pleather. It's not real leather. We'll see if that comes off. I didn't want to ruin it too much. Oh dear, it's taken the whole thing. That's not good, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't pour it on this stuff, all right? Um, and I was actually looking for some leather as well, but I didn't really have anything that I didn't want to risk ruining. I know this is obvious, but I figured I might as well just include everything. It really doesn't come off cardboard, okay? <laughs> I thought might as well do a complete experiment, a per Ingalls lid. I thought I wanted to pick stuff that everybody could get hold of. <gasps> 
So this would make, if you, honestly, if you didn't have a lot of money and you liked Pringles and you had some lids, I mean, that would, so his, that would make a little coaster. So this is a mould, a coaster mould. Okay, it's a bit smaller, but, you know, I'm just thinking, I mean, the only thing is, obviously, it's got some indentations there, but, but, uh, which would come out, but you could always sand them off. Anyway, just a thought, okay? Right, now I have a Coke bottle here. Again, I was thinking for pyramids to save resin. Let's see if this comes off easily. Not that easily at all. So I think I would prefer to do that with an Ikea bag. I mean, the other thing you can do, obviously, is add, um, add mould release. So, anyway, so that's more experiments. Right, now we have some colouring film. Does it come off? So I see a lot of people using this in videos, but I was never really convinced. See, the... It does come off, but it... No, it, see, I'm not convinced of that. So if you're like going to pour on a, to make those beautiful resin sculptures, I personally wouldn't use cling film. <coughs> it's a texture mat. So I'm well impressed with this. So you do have to be a bit careful, but I think it does come off. Again, not easily. Again, I think I probably need to try all these things again, but with some um, release spray. Do you know, I, I also wonder, because I have used this before and it came off really easily. But I wonder if maybe it would come off a bit easier if I left it a bit longer. So can you see that has come off? And it's left the indentation. So I'm quite impressed with that. Um, that it comes off. So this is just a little metal tin that I poured on. And again, I think it does actually peel off. Look at that. I'm really surprised at that. But again, maybe we need to wait for it to to stick properly. And that's a shame because I was going to do lids. Oh, that's annoyed me. Uh, so this is just a lid from a yogurt, natural yogurt pot. And this is like a smallish coaster, so it's a little bit bigger. And again, you've got the imprint there. But if this comes, comes out, and of course, once you've got once you've got one item, you can always cast in, make a silicon mould, but um, didn't look as though that is coming off that easily. Oh, so it does come off, but not that easily. So that says that's a 10 in there. I know that five, if you've got a little um, triangle thing, that tells you what kind of plastic it is. And I have used it when it says a five in there. Um, fairly easily. Right, what else have I got? Oh, this is epic, I'm telling you. I forgot how many I did. Right, so this is just a plastic bag from a well-known supermarket. Let's see. So it does come off, but because it's so thin, it's going to tear. So I probably wouldn't use that. I'm using the inside of some noodles. This foil 
kind of stuff. And again, that is not coming off, but that could be used to line something with and pour on top, couldn't it? God, I just, I'm so obsessed. It's a little bit, I need help, people. <laughs> I'm so obsessed. <laughs> Honestly, I was dreaming the other night about resin. I dreamt I was making a dress, resining a dress, you know, a full size dress, not a tiny dress. I'm saying, right, so, oh look. So this is like cellophane. And that comes off pretty easily. Impressed with that. This is a bag from the inside of some uh, cereal and, you know, like shreddies or whatever. And oh, look how easily that comes off. Wow. I'm oh, amazed by that. This is an old, uh, an old mat that I've used um, with laminate on, and you can see that it does come off, but not easily. And if you've got smaller bits, so it does come off. You can see. But sometimes it kind of takes the surface with it. So these bits have been on here a bit longer. So let's see if that comes off. See that bit's been on a bit longer and that just won't come off at all. So laminate pretty much does stick. And I would imagine any things that I've shown you today where it does come off but not easily, I would imagine would bond really, really well. Right, because I'm a tiny bit insane, I also did paper. <laughs> oh dear, I need help. So, yeah, it's just solid on paper. And if you want to put photos or anything like that in resin, then I would recommend that you seal it first. So you're all right. Now, I have kind of treated it with Vaseline. And look at that, that just comes off so easily. And um, I did another one, which I did not treat with Vaseline. And let's see if this comes off. It does. Um, so I don't, I don't think I'd bother treating it actually, but that's cool, isn't it? like a honeycomb shape I'm gonna be having fun with that i'm telling you um now this is a mailing bag look at that oh my goodness that was so easy that was so so easy um what else have i got here i have another um, so like one of those bags for life from a well-known supermarket but you can't guess where <laughs> and yeah that peels off really easily so I'd imagine sort of the thicker ones are a lot better uh, what else have I got now I think this is freezer paper but I have not used the right side such an idiot So we will never know. Well, I won't know. But yeah, on the papery side, not the shiny side, that's what happens. But anyway, um, oh, that's a shame. And then I've got uh, like another well-known supermarket kind of freezer bag. And let's see if this comes off. Yeah, that came off pretty easily. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, right, I think that is everything. Um, oh, there's a few more sort of pots that I've been playing with. So there's this, like, double cream. Now, the problem with this is that in the bottom, it's got 
ridges so but look that is coming out really easily like a lot easier than the other pots that I've been using uh, that, that are actually meant for resin you know so now I'm just saving all of these yogurt pots and these work well right so we have glass and it's only been a day since I poured but that is pretty it's not really coming off that easily so I would say yes it sticks to glass um, I tried <coughs> masking tape so this is the outside of the marking masking tape let's see if that sticks it, it does but it does come off fairly easily and then try the sticky side of masking tape oh that is stuck quite no that comes off as well so that comes off as well so both sides of masking tape are good so this is a day later see yeah that still comes off pretty easily that's good isn't it? well it's good for me because I'm just terrible at top coating anyway so I just wanted to check that and then um, I've got a few more things so you know the paper that you get your, uh, lots of stickers on so it's kind of waxy Look at that, comes off really easily, really easily. So that's good. Um, I've got some glitter paper here. I'm not expecting this to come off. Yeah, that is absolutely stuck fast. Okay. Um, I realised that I didn't do acetate. So this is my attempt at... Um, like an alcohol ink drawing, uh, alcohol ink type stuff. Anyway, uh, look at that. That comes off really, really easily. The freezer paper, the other side of the freezer paper. And look at that. How easily that's come off. Really easily. This is shower curtain. And look how easily that comes off. So that doesn't stick to there. Um, I've got a mirror here. Oh, you don't want to see my ugly potato head. <laughs> and that is pretty solid. I'm sure I could get that off if I heated it up, but it's it has bonded. So, uh, so somewhere. There we go. So you know this like foily kind of Christmas paper and that's come off really easily. This is hardboard and that is absolutely not going anywhere. And thank you so much for coming to see me. I'm so excited because I get to pour later. Loads more to come. Bye.